Center coming to you live from Steeltown, Pennsylvania at the sold-out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Baltimore Razors take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr., Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. <laughs> Touchdown! He takes it to the house on the kickoff return and scores. Man, what a play. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And this guy is one of the best chip kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. Remember that time in Cabo? And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Way to go, guys. Well, a 
as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But a double, ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's and this game is up for grabs. Second down and more than the QB would like. Your point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. When the receiver runs away from the pass marker, that's a good clue that Sutton's not right. Second down and ten. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. And so that's the two-minute warning. should have been here in the old days. They used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf punch, Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And this guy is one of the best chip kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, 
like exploding diarrhea. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Oh, he took a leap and hit the ball, knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Quarterback's tight spirals and mad. This guy could talk before he died. What do you think he'd be saying, Briggs? Psycho killer! Yeah. Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Sure love it. You're like a pinata at a Mexican birthday party. Yeah. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Second down. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's mad stupsy time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And they'll line up for the punt here. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburner. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have, and trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show, sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up, Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. It's the NFL. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a one-dollar Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he got a hold of that one.
catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Well, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Gorgeous kick. Better ensure that leg. Who knows how long he'll keep it. third quarter and look folks I'll be honest I don't see a chance in hell in here the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense he's looking for a quick score Aren't we all Grim Aren't we all picks up two yards on the pass and this guy's six feet tall he could just have fallen over and gotten two yards Not much there, maybe a yard. Man, this coach, and they take their first time out here. The quarterback apparently needs a few more seconds to explain, put the ball in the end zone to the slower players. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And that was a game-breaking punt return for a touchdown! Man, that play just changed the entire momentum of this game! What a run! <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. Look out! They try to catch the defense napping and the QB threads the needle for two points. impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. A fake kick! This is gonna ruin my fake team's fake And he finds his target for two! You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Grim. First them, then vampires, then mermaids, then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And he kicked the snot out of that ball. <laughs> Someone get him a Kleenex. <laughs> and the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do Times we have to explain it to you. It saves the clock, dumbass. Second down, and a timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two. And they call, and he just used his beef. Oh, the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. A nice run there for eight yards. The quarterback and the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Hot two. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, he just got crushed. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. Third down and long. 
And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Five-yard gain on that fast play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the jump. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, man? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. First and ten. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Second down and long. The Steelheads are losers today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, really? Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. Shit, what up? What? 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 What?